dear students today i am going to make the video on the electrochemistry because uh, so many student asked me to make the video on electrochemistry topics so which prompted me to make the video on saturated calmer electro but i am not going to discuss the complete uh, construction and functioning of saturated calmer electro because i know very much that um, you can uh, write anything any stuff related to any of the topic in the chemistry and you can represent it on the paper in the examination hall but but uh, while coming to the while coming to uh, the reactions part so you will face a lot of uh, ambiguity and you will be in a dilemma that uh, what could be the next step so in order to make you to overcome this particular problem i am going to emphasize only on the reactions involved in saturated calmer electro right so before going to start writing the reactions involved in the saturated calmer electro already you are very much aware that uh, three chemicals are involved in the saturated calmer electro functioning the one is mercury and the second one is mercurous chloride and third one is a saturated potassium chloride now what is the function of these three chemicals which are a part of the saturated calmer electro the mercury is the one chemical which act as anode and undergo oxidation during the functioning of this particular calmer electro the second chemical which is a mercurous chloride will act as a cathode and undergo reduction during the functioning of this particular saturated calmer electrode and third chemical which is involved in this particular saturated calmer electrode is saturated potassium chloride which act as an electrolyte so this is the basic information i am providing for you in order to understand the chemical reactions involved in the saturated calmer electrode so initially the reactions at anode at anode now already have discussed that the mercury is the one which act as anode and undergo oxidation now there, there should not be any ambiguity there should not be any dilemma right so which chemical act as anode and undergo oxidation mercury so do remember that two moles of mercury undergo oxidation and results in the formation of hg2 plus 2 and loses the two electrons because loss of electrons is the oxidation right loss of electrons is the oxidation now now you will be in a search of uh, the next reaction in this. so instead of uh, uh learning or uh, instead of uh, learning or memorizing in the proper fashion what you will do is you will mug up you will uh, practice it uh, five to ten times on the paper there is no need to practice any of the chemical reaction there is no need to memorize any of the chemical reaction there is a concept behind each and every chemical reaction if you understand the concept then it's very easy to write any of the chemical reaction without any ambiguity without any dilemma now what is formed in the first step the mercury acted as anode and undergone oxidation producing hg2 plus 2 ions and losing the two electrons now what could be the next step next step is the stabilization of this hg2 plus 2 ions so do remember that nature hates to be in the ionic form nature hates the ionic form the cation or anion whatever it is it won't talk would won't want to be in the ionic form because ionic form of any of the substance or any of the species is not stable in the nature so it wants to be converted into the molecule form once it is converted into the molecule form then it will attain the stability now what is this hg2 plus 2 what is the h2 plus h2 to plus 2 the plus in represents that it is the cation right it is the cation now in order to lose its charge 
that is in order to attain the stability so it should react with anion or the cation as it is the cation it should react with the anion the cation cannot react with the cation anion cannot react with the anion the cation reacts with the anion and anion reacts with the cation now as uh, in the first step uh, the cation has been uh, formed uh, the next step is the stabilization of this particular cation that is hg2 plus 2 now hg2 plus 2 by its charge it is amply clear that it is amply clear that it is it is cation now in order to stabilize itself what it will do it will try to grab the anions Present in its vicinity. Now, what are uh, the anions which are present in our in its vicinity to get stabilized? Chloridions, right? Chloridions. So, chloridions. What is the source of the chloridion? Saturated potassium chloride, which is being considered as an electrolyte in this particular electrode. So, that is the source of the anions for getting stabilization of this Hg two plus two ions, which are microspots. Right. Now. The question is, so since these are, there are two cations, Hg2 plus 2 plus 2 means, so what you will write? Cl minus 2. So Cl minus 2 will exist in the nature. Cl minus 2 will not exist in the nature. Because Cl minus is the monovalent anion. So since it is the monovalent anion, it will not, not be in the Cl minus 2 form. It will be in the Cl minus form. It will be in the Cl minus form. But here, there is a need to stabilize uh, two plus ions. But we have only Cl minus one, right? Now, what we need to do? What it will do? It will react with uh, two Cl minus because it could not, it, it won't be in the minus 2 form. Since it won't be in the minus 2 form, each one of the chloride ions neutralizes each one of Hg2 plus 2. Now, so this is the next step. Next step is the stabilization of the ionic species which is formed in the first step at the anode results in the formation of Hg2 Cl2 solid. Now this is, these are the two reactions which are part of the anode. Now in order to get the overall oxidation reaction, we have to combine these two reactions which are part of the anodic reaction. And after combining, after combining, we have to cancel the equivalent ions or the equivalent ions if present on the opposite side of the aromar. If the equivalent ions or equivalent electrons are present on the same side of the aromar, we have to add them. So accordingly, accordingly, what happens? So try to focus on the species which are there on the right side of the aromar and left side of the aromar. Don't be confused. Now, Hg2 plus 2, Hg2 plus 2 has been formed in the first step of this particular oxidation reaction, which is there on the right side of the arrow mark. In the second step, it is there on the left side of the arrow mark. According to the statement, what I have made, it is clear that it can be cancelled. Now, any other species can be cancelled. Electrons are not there, same Ions are not there, only Hg2 plus 2 ions were similar and both are as they are on the opposite side of the aromar, they are being cancelled first. Now what are left on the left side of the aromar, write those pages, don't be confused. Whatever the content which is left on the left side of the aromar, write the content on the left side. So what is left? Two moles of mercury plus 2 Cl minus results in the formation of so now whatever the content which is left on right side of the arrow mark write it only on the right side of the arrow mark what is the content which is left on the right side of the arrow mark 
Hg2 Cl2 solid plus two protons. So these are the reactions which occur at anode during the function of saturated carbon electron. Now we have to discuss what are the reactions which occur sir, during the functioning of saturated carbon electrode whenever it acts as cathode and what is that chemical which acts as a cathode which I have discussed in the beginning right that is mercurous chloride now it is very easy to remember the reduction reaction occurring at the cathode the reduction reaction is exactly reverse that of the oxidation reduction that is Hg2Cl2 initially undergoes dissociation resulting in the formation of Hg2 plus 2 ions and 2Cl minus ions. Next step is Hg2 plus 2 ions gains the two electrons which have been lost by the other electrode to which it is connected and gets reduced to mercury. Exactly reverse of this oxidation reaction is reduction reaction exactly reverse what is that hg2 hg2 cl2 hg2 cl2 solid undergoes exactly reverse don't be confused exactly reverse to that of the oxidation reaction hg2 Cl2 initial undergoes dissociation uh, results in the formation of Hg2 plus 2 plus 2 Cl minus. Now what happens? Next step is, don't be confused, next step is this one, right? Next step is this one, Hg2 plus 2 plus 2 electrons giving rise to mercury. Hg2 plus 2 plus 2 electrons use rise to mercury right so this is the reaction occurs at the cathode whenever the saturated calomel electrode act as cathode and under good reaction so in order to write the overall redox reaction that is reduction reaction occurring in this particular saturated calomel electrode we have to combine the two individual reactions which are occurring at the cathode and after combining we have to cancel the equivalent ions and equivalent electrons if present on the opposite side or the, on the other hand if equivalent ions and equivalent electrons are present on the same side we have to combine them right so accordingly hg2 plus 2 ions are there on the right side of the first reaction occurring at the cathode and in the second reaction of occurring at the cathode it is there on the left side so both can be cancelled the resulting is hg2 cl2 solid gains the two electrons giving rise to what is the content which is left on the right side you are supposed to write two moles of mercury plus two cl Minus. Now, dear students, is there any need to memorize or mother these reactions? No. There is a concept behind it. That concept is, just remember this concept. If you remember this concept, then it is very easy to write any of the chemical reactions. Either it is organic, physical or inorganic reaction, whatever it is. That is, nature hates to be in the ionic nature hates to be in the ionic form once the ionic form of any of the substance is formed the second step immediately will be the stabilization of either the cation or the anion which is formed in the previous step accordingly you have to frame the reactions but you need not to memorize or mug up the reactions right i hope you understood uh, this particular class so I will come with the, uh, the other uh, topic in the next video. So thanks for watching this video and do comment on the video. And uh, whatever uh, the topics you are uh, facing, the problem in it. 
so please comment that i will make the videos on that particular topic or the concept whatever it is thank you so much